Hey guys, Marco here. And I know what you're thinking. Marco, you look like a cross between a homeless guy and a convict right now, but <laughs> it's the attire we're going for. This is the isolation attire we're doing. I don't care. In this week's video, we're looking at a question that I have been struggling with a lot lately, and that is what do us travel inspired, creative, making new things kind of people do when you're stuck at home? You can't go out to new places and see new things or try new things at different places. You're, you're stuck with what you got. So how do you make it work? How do you make it creative? That's what we're looking at today and how we're doing that through self-portraits. It is something that I've dipped my feet into a little bit here and there, but I wanna get more into it, so why not try it now? I have a few different ideas, themes that I can try, so this video, we're gonna try those things, see how it works, and I'll show you the final products. And for the first one that we're trying out, it's more of an athletic, outdoorsy kind of look. As I mentioned in the previous video, I've been really into home workouts, especially like jump rope workouts outside, so I'm gonna try, right now at least, do some photo tests to see if it would work, and if it does, I'll probably come back tomorrow and finish those shots and the rest of the shots and put them all together in this beautiful little video for y'all. <laughs> but anyway, enough talking, let's let's get to shooting. So for these kind of shots, because we're using the jump rope, we're gonna make it look kind of like a raw, authentic, kind of athlete-driven photo shoot. Nothing too stylized, nothing too professional. So it's just about cranking up that shutter speed, finding the right angle, and just finding the right angry motivated pose in my face while I jump rope and just seeing kind of what works and what doesn't so we can uh, we can go from there. But yeah, let's go uh, let's go try this out. So what was meant to just be kind of like the trial session for the outdoor skipping uh, kind of photo shoot actually turned into the real thing because the lighting conditions got so good and so optimal for what I wanted. So I ran inside quick, changed into the attire that I wanted, like the, the professional gym attire. So I put them all on my laptop here. I've been editing them through. Um, my editing process is pretty simple. I usually just throw a preset on. I've been really liking the Chris Howe presets. He's a he's a Toronto-based, Canadian-based uh, photographer, videographer. So I'll just throw those on in Lightroom, tweak them as I see fit, because I you know I like putting my own style into it as well. It's it, those presets are a good template, good base to where to start, and then everything afterwards is just kind of fine tweaking, finding your own your own style and someone else's style. So as doing the self-portrait photography, I realized really quickly that it's a lot harder than you may think. So I do give a lot of credit and a huge shout out to those that do self-photography, especially like Sorella Moore, people like that, that have really owned the craft and are really good at it. And after taking shot after shot after shot, I realized that the more obscure looking poses while jumping looked better in terms of translation onto the camera. Take this one for example, although it looks pretty cool and it looks clean, it doesn't have that oomph because it's just a normal jump with a skipping rope. When you swap to something like this with a hyper extended leg, when in reality when you're skipping you would never put your leg like that, the facial expression, everything about it just screams so abnormal but at the same time kind of brings a cool style and you, you you get the point of the photo. Like I'm skipping, I'm being athletic. That's the point with my own style to it. We then swapped it over to more of like a pose kind of. I had tried the dynamic kind of shots with me, you know, doing the action. So I wanted to swap up and try more like an organic pose. So I had watched a few videos on kind of like male posing and kind of how to pose yourself for somebody who doesn't really know how to do it. I had tried to figure out many different locations to do, whether it just be like kind of me drinking water or whatever but I found at the end of the day getting another low angle me looking cool <laughs> looking cool looking athletic looking mean serious uh, from the lower angle looked a lot better than kind of like the even or above again it's just psychology if you look from above they look more powerful they look stronger more athletic that's the look we're going for. And through these, just standing over my patio outside looked really bland, so I thought, what if I kneel into it, kind of extend my feet, extend things into the camera, kind of add those layers that we're looking for. But it was just fun experimenting, seeing what worked, what didn't, and kind of going from there. Because at the end of the day, although I took a bunch of shots, these are probably the three or four that I think turned out the best. And at the end of it, for someone who doesn't do this for a living, like, I was pretty happy with the results. 
So now that the athletic photo shoot is done and I'm super happy with the results, I'm moving on to my other idea, which is kind of dealing with terms of isolation, boredom, and kind of capturing that through an image. Uh, we're gonna go upstairs, try to get some moody lighting and figure out how it works. Let's, uh, let's go. Oh, and here we are on our second location, doing our second shoot with the laptop as kind of my main focus because it has this one really cool sticker on it that I love. It's tired, I'm late. Get it? Because you would say I'm tired, it's late. But because it's so late and you're tired, you swapped them around, you know, because you're so tired, it's it's funny. It's a funny play on words. <laughs> at least I think so. Setup wise is pretty simple. We're just in my bedroom at my desk over here. We have our light to our side here. We have our tripod over there. I would pretty much click uh, the self timer, run back into position, get into my bored, you know, tired kind of look uh, pose here. And it was just a few times trying to find focus and it worked from there. Although like a sharp looking photo of a person, like really nice detail in their face looks great and it's a good portrait. I think the best ones are the ones that show like a scene. You know what I mean? Like I'll show a few examples here, but when you're creating that story behind it and it's not just a, a crisp looking human. <laughs> Sounds weird to say it like that, but that th those are the best ones is what I'm finding. All right, that one was good. Time to go to the next shoot. Bam! Cool little transition for you just like that. But we're setting up on the final uh, little shoot here, changed outfits. Uh, right now we're doing kind of like a memory photo album kind of shot with the old uh, camera that I just showed. The setup for this one is kind of more personal, more of like a sentimental one, like looking back at memories as we can't go out into the world, we gotta look back at what we have. So I spread out all these photos on my bed, got the old film camera, a few photo albums panning through and just get like an isolated shot of me going through memories. Probably gonna tear up just thinking about it. <laughs> But doing these little projects makes me remember is how much I love to create. And it's just little things here and there, like one shot, one little set of photos here and there, or one little video like this, or from the travels that I do. It just accompanies everything that I love in terms of creating. And they're like little scrapbooks that I can look back on in life and say, wow, what was, what was I wearing back then? What was I thinking? Or how was I doing back then? It's just little snippets of my life. That's, you know, that's why I like doing this stuff. <laughs> I don't know, I got some good feelings about these ones, guys. But yeah, we'll bring everything to the laptop and we'll see how it goes. We're back in the basement, editing some photos, and I will say they're looking pretty damn good, guys. Let's take a peek. So I think where these two sets really expand upon and improve upon the jump rope set that we did is the story behind them. The jump rope ones, although they looked awesome, uh, they were very simple and just kind of like I wanted to show the athleticism and that's it. These, it's a simple frame, a still frame that just speaks a lot in, in the small, you know, pixelated image that it is. With the computer ones, you see the isolation. I took down some of the posters and frames that I had on certain parts of the walls to really just narrow in the focus on me. And the end product, I think, really does show a bored individual in such an empty space. Moving over to our second set, we have our memory slash like photos, photo shoot. And this one turned out way better than I expected. Although there's a lot of stuff going on in this photo, especially with the photos on the ground, the camera in my hand, you really feel the focus and it's brought to me in the center very well. But I think the biggest compliment, the biggest praise that I can give this photo is that you take one look and you completely understand what that character is thinking. They feel empty, but with all these other feelings around them, they're hanging on to them. It's just, it's, it's a good dynamic and it speaks so much in just one frame once again. So I think I'm a pretty talented guy if my first real attempt at self photography uh, comes out like that. <laughs> I kid, I kid, but in all honesty, this, this whole project has been a lot of fun to do. I keep saying that I want to push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit more here and there. And when I do, and I do stuff like this, I see the results and I, I reap the benefits really. So it makes me think, why don't I do this more? So maybe I will, and maybe that's, that's where this whole dynamic, you tuning in every week, this is how it's going to be. So that's what I from this. Always try and learn something new, challenge yourself, and photography is damn hard. <laughs> but definitely rewarding when you do it right. So that concludes this week's journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And as always, I'm Marco Pereira. Ciao for now. <laughs>